Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Pond Force air pump and specifically I'll be looking at it for using it as air assist on a laser engraver. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So I previously did a video on a laser engraver and I've used it to engrave and cut and it's recommended for better cutting performance to use air assist. So I was looking at different air assist systems and I found one that was very similar to this air pump for an aquarium so I decided to try the aquarium version. So we're going to take a look on my bench here and then I'll get it connected up to the system and we'll test it. So this says higher performance, energy saving, adjustable airflow, environmentally friendly. Here's some specs down here. It's 20 watts, 30 liters per minute. Let's open it up. So here's some instructions. So a lot of this is going to be applicable to an aquarium. I'll pull this out. So it looks like this comes with a manifold. It's a metal manifold. And here is the control. It's on the plug. So the pump has rubber isolation feet. As you can see there. Let's check out the length of the cord. The cord's around five foot eight inches. Now the control to turn this on or off is around 15 inches from the plug side. So this feels like, I don't know, that might be plastic. This might be metal here. This might be plastic and this is all plastic. So let's try plugging this in and then let's turn the control. Okay, so it's running now. So air's coming out. Now I can feel that on my face and blowing at me. So this thing's not silent. It sounds kind of like an aquarium pump, if you've ever heard one. The switch feels kind of flimsy. It's something that could potentially be replaced if needed. But now if you can dial this in at the air you want, you could potentially hook this up to like a power strip or something. So to connect this to the laser engraver, I have this pneumatic tubing. It's six by four millimeters. I think it's polyethylene and I'll put a link below to it also. So this will not fit on there, but it should fit on here. So it does come with a small tube we can use here and here. So I might be able to get a fitting where I just have this size to this size tubing. So let's turn this on. And these are on. So typically a valve, if it's in line with the hose, it's on. So we want to turn this 90 degrees. I'm gonna turn these three off, leave this one on. I could turn it this way, but it'll be hanging out. This way they're all pointing in. And then this I'll place on here. It's a little tricky to get on there. I mean, it wasn't that hard, but you could put this under hot water or something to soften it. Actually, it went on pretty easy. So then the other end of this will go into the air assist on the laser engraver. So I just wanted to show on my bench. Let's head to my laser engraver and test this out. Okay, so I'm out here at my laser engraver. So I do want to disclose that my laser engraver I'll be using this was provided by Byroris. I have my Byroris work surface. I have my Pond Force air pump over here. I've hooked the tube from the air pump into the laser head. To do that, I had to remove this little plug and then I just pressed it in. Then to remove it, there's a little black ring around here. I'll press down on that ring and I can pull that tube out. So I'm going to do a test cutting out a one centimeter disc and I'm using the settings that came in the manual for the Byroris. And I've copied this to this larger sheet and laminated it. So I'm using three millimeter plywood, 90% power. Now for cutting speed, it says 350. I'll be using 150 and I'll be using M3 for laser options. So I'm going to cut one first without the air assist, but I will use the bed. We'll see if that cuts through and then we'll turn on the air assist and try it again. Ultimately, what we'd want to do is do a number of cuts and find out the fastest speed we can cut at. Okay, that completed. So we almost cut through there. Not quite. Let's try it with air assist. So I currently have the air pump turned to the highest setting. That made a huge difference. You look at the back side, no scorching. I guess you couldn't see scorching on this. These are some I did previously where it cut through. And here's a better example. So I was cutting from this side and you can see the scorching on the back side. So this time I'll try speeding it up just a little bit. So that was 150 to 200. It seems to have cut through. It looks like we have a little bit of a tab that was holding it in, but that cut, I'll try another one. Okay, I realized that was out of focus, but this is the part we all wanna see. So here this almost cut through and this was at 250 millimeters per minute. Let's try 225. So there's 225. I do have to press it out just the tiniest bit. 
so I might want to go to 200. Now these speeds and everything can be very dependent on the material cutting and many other factors. But the one thing I wanted to test was if the air assist helps, and it helps tremendously. If you're doing any cutting with this engraver or an engraver like it, check out the air assist. So that was the Pond Force air pump used as air assist on my Byroris laser engraver cutter. Now this laser engraver has a port on the top for air assist. If it didn't, you'd need some kind of nozzle, which you could 3D print or purchase separately. But I would say this made a huge difference in my cutting. Now air assist isn't generally recommended for laser engraving. You may be able to turn this down to the lowest setting. You want to try it with your equipment. And the reason you'd even do that is to maybe keep the smoke away from the surface and keep the laser head just a little bit cleaner. Now I just had this sitting beside the laser engraver and I just had the two floating here it might not be a bad idea to somehow mount this where it can move around and the pump probably should be a little bit further away from the laser engraver so it's not sucking up any smoke but otherwise this made a huge difference i wouldn't say this struggled cutting before but the quality was nowhere near as good once we put the air assist on so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye